Um, right, well, in 1917, um, Dudley Stanhope, um, Earl of Harrington, big huntsman, um, known as Old Whiskers, um, was out hunting at Holbrook, and he leapt over a, a wall, but he didn't make it, and the horse crashed onto the wall, and Dudley Stanhope was killed. And to this day, there is a plaque on 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 the wall where where Old Whiskers died. His ghost doesn't haunt the place where he died. Um, but I was, funnily enough, I was uh, talking to. Do you know Barry Fitch at uh, Little Eaton, the butchers there? Well, he he told me exactly where the plaque was and everything. Else, and he told me there was a possibility that people have seen a ghost by the wall. Um, that's a possibility because it could be the recording. Perhaps he didn't die straight away. Perhaps he lay there fighting fighting death and the recording of him may be held in the sandstone wall. That, that's that. I don't know. Anyway, that's what Barry Fitch told me. But anyway, the story is that he was killed in 1917 while out riding, but he left in his will that on the on Boxing Day, when the when the hounds meet, which was the hounds from from Elveston met normally met or whatever they do, that he, although um, he he died, he insisted in his will that the hounds that the hunt went out on Boxing Day, and and they did, um, went out as normal, and off they went, um, and they went all the way up the the the, the green pathway right to the top to the, to the Golden Gates at the top of Alveston, and all of them stopped. The hounds stopped, and they wouldn't go any farther. There was no fox, and they all turned, and they all came back again, and they congregated around a tree that was in the graveyard, but about 25 feet from the mausoleum where the Earl of Harrington was buried. When I say buried, he's not buried, he's, he's on a shelf in his coffin, on a shelf inside the, the uh, mausoleum, but you can't go in, you can't get into it. And they congregated around that tree, baying, and, well they don't bay, do they, hounds, barking and howling and what have you, and they could not get them away from that tree. Uh, eventually, the, the head of the hounds, or whatever it's called, eventually somehow enticed them away from the tree and got them back to the kennels, which are still there. You can still see where the kennels are and everything else. And they kennel, that was the end of it. And people said, the huntsmen that were there, there wasn't a lot of huntsmen out that day, but those that were there said that they actually saw the ghost of the Earl of Harrington standing near the tree. And to this day, there is now a stone plaque by the tree. Have I got a picture of it? No. <laughs> That's the grave of... No. But basically there's a picture there of the Earl of Harrington on his horse. And this is part of an article I did for Derbyshire, Derbyshire magazine. And um, the plaque is there now by the tree and it's called the Happy Huntsman's Tree. And it actually says on the plaque, Happy Huntsman's Tree, uh, something something to do with the Earl of Harrington, blah blah blah. Boxing Day, 1917. And to go with it as a bit of proof, a poem as well that was written at the time. Do we do it all? Why not? Said wistful, wisp, I can't even say it, so that's going to, said wistful to wanderer, it's a lovely hunting morn. Said wanderer to wistful, hush, I fancy that's the horn. I believe I see his lordship at the far end on the grey. And it's very strange, because I thought they'd taken him away. As Wanderer spoke to Wistful, a big grey fox broke covered. They threw their tongs and raced away. Heads up, stern down they flew. His lordship was a-calling them. They knew, they knew, they knew. Straight as a line to the churchyard, where they say his lordship waits. There was never a sign of a big grey fox. The grass was trampled and pressed, where yesterday the best of man in the Midlands was finally laid to rest.